as you know, the entrance is a very vital part of uh, a building. When we walk outside here, then you see doors. They're standing there for 20 years. We did not want to uh, develop just a new door. And if you see it, then you start uh, uh, believing it. If they really use the results in an optimal way, then this one door would be different in any location. So it would be perfect anywhere. We had so many inputs from so many di different directions. And we need to be sure that we create a new product family rather than just a new product. But we also had to work on the design, of course. Uh, we want to create something stunning. In our products, the element of design is becoming uh, a more important element. One of the steps in that design uh, assessment was to understand in which situations is our product actually located. What you experience while using a door really depends on your mindset. How can we um, use the stories of these um, users to optimize the experience in a specific location? In general, people are a bit more tense when entering a train station than they are when entering a shopping center, for example. To make our product fit uh, in all those locations, the idea is that we created a, a nice, clean uh, glazed drum wall. The main feature is of course the glass. I mean, that's kind of the, the, the whole concept is, is based around that. And this drum wall is something that uh, reflects actually the surrounding where it, it is located. I think it really fits in any building you can imagine. But at the same time, it's still customizable and it's really recognizable as a Boonie Dam product. So if the building is uh, created from clean facade, it will reflect into the door. So it blends in. And that's the nice thing about this design. Eh? The, the glazed drum wall goes all the way to the top. So there are no disturbing elements anymore in the door itself. In a way, that is the challenge to design something which is not obstructive to the user. The whole experience is not only about the physical design, but it's also very much about how it behaves, I think. We have design from looks and we have design for user interaction. Or you can see in this, in this product that designers have been busy and it's not just a, a functional translation of requirements by engineers. How do we in incorporate all this technology in a nice way? So we have all those functional elements, we all give it a place uh, where it's kind of, yeah, at least it disappears to the, to the background. That's why they look more pretty and basically are more friendly to use. It's a, it's a nice product to see, but also a nice product to work on. Most proud I am the way we can uh, produce it. We are helping companies like Bonedam in designing next generation product platforms. We designed the Orbit Trizant in a modular system. The door itself is, uh, is customizable, but uh, we have separated uh, the streams in a, in a better way. So complex components and complex modules are, are pre-assembled already. We discussed about, okay, what, is, what are the ideal modules or the ideal set of Lego blocks in which we can do that smart. The advantage of working in modules is that you can build the modules before you sell it. So a lot of material has already been pre-assembled. When the order comes in, we customize uh, the modules, bring it together, and out it goes from the factory. Where we can fulfill almost 90 plus percent of the questions of the market. And the questions of the market are varies a lot in diameters, in height, in whatever. What we have done with, 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 with the whole team is to make uh, the assembly part very simple. The production is going faster, it's actually cheaper. And simply assembly means uh, a shorter lead time. How we build this uh, product is, yeah, the whole team can be very proud of that. Yeah, it makes me very proud because uh, I'm working on the future of, of Boning Dam. 